hello guys welcome back to another video yes yeah, so this one is furniture city one of the big furniture showroom at Spinters road yes so i went there to check one of few things and i decided to show you guys around yeah so try and watch the video to the end and let me know whatever you think about in this particular video because i've been to a lot of furniture showrooms all the way from last year to this year just for you to know how the prices changes you understand and also to compare them if you are to buy it outside or to buy it in ghana so i think the previous video someone said about it's, it's all about the quality it's very true no one will just waste the money to go and buy something that wouldn't last maybe a year or two so whenever you are trying to buy something you just have to think about the quality that is the number one thing but you know this furniture showroom that is that is in ghana now trust me there are prices and there are things there i'm not sure you will go and buy something that wouldn't even last because at the end of the day they've also imported every single thing you see in this video so there is no way you will go and buy it and you would have issue and it comes with a warrant yes buying certain with a with this huge price on it that is not all so in case anything goes wrong with it i'm sure there will be procedures and you know other things included that will help with a good deal you've already invested because some of them are very expensive This set was very, very nice and it's also in pieces. So each of them has its own price and you will love it. Another comment was saying, why don't we use some of the local artisans and let them, you know, make these things for us. It will be much cheaper, something like that. When you are using the carpenters, let me call them, sometimes it's very frustrating. I've experienced my own share. Those of you that have also experienced something from these carpenters, let me know in the comments because what I went through with one of them is very serious. I decided to use that guy to do a lot of things on my projects. So for instance, all the TV units and drawers, all the ones I will use for the various rooms and the hall, I decided to use him. So Initially, when I met him, I sent him a lot of pictures that, you know, in the near future, I'll let him take all the contracts. So I gave him one of them to do for me so that I'll use it in one of the bedrooms. And if I'm to show you the picture I sent the guy and what he did, and you see when they are charging you, they charge you the maximum as in the quality of the products they will use. So if they charge you, they will explain to you that we have a cheaper one, we have some, you know, they will give you all the explanations. And, you know, I paid for the maximum one, you know, because I want the quality of it. And per the picture I showed him, I think that picture, I took it in one of the showrooms. So when I sent it to him, we had a discussion I made payment. He told me it should be ready in about two to three weeks. I was cool. So it took me about five to six months chasing him up and down. Trust me. So sometimes when you are using these carpenters, you know, you have to be very, very ready for whatever comes out. Because in my own situation, if I should have bought it from the showroom that I saw, they will just bring it and you know come and install it for me but i decided to try my fate on these carpenters and the money he took me it was even the same as the price i saw at the showroom you understand slight difference at the end of the day what he brought to me and the picture 
he had a concept everything just as the picture says but when you look at the finishing unless maybe you will not compare the pictures if someone sees it oh wow it's nice i like the concept but if you are to show the person the picture that this is what you sent to the guy to do and this is what he brought seriously guys you will be you understand so just imagine some of them are very good they are not cheap they are not cheap if you are if you are to use a local artisans trust me they are not cheap because now they also charge they can also charge you seven thousand for a bed yes because at the end of the day they will go and buy the materials but the difference is when you go to the showroom to buy it's already made so you just load it and bring it to your place and also using a carpenter too it will take time and if you are not lucky you wouldn't even get the same thing as you showed him that is some minor minor things with them so if you want to use a carpenter or a local artisan to do some of these things you see they can do it for you but yes you get your difference because some of these things that are imported um frankly speaking some of the designs are very unique it's not easy to photocopy it you understand some of them are very very unique so if you want to beat the prices and you want to you know patronize the local artisans for it you have to be ready for any consequences that comes with it yes so i feel like you know buying straightforward sometimes it helps because all these dining sets and any piece you see in the showroom they can do it for you they can do it for you but at the end of the day it will take time the estimated time you give them you will not get it and whatever they also tell you they can't follow their promise it will end up chasing them up and down because one thing i've noticed about them is they will say anything for you to give them the money once you give them the money the story that comes with it is very different so if any of you has experienced something like that just let me know and also i also talked to one one company it's not that big company no some of the local artisans but he has really done well for himself so i i talked to him about the kitchen cabinets the price i got for the kitchen cabinet or the coat i got for the kitchen cabinets is very serious because initially i have one person that also does them in europe so i talked to him he showed me some samples and what he was charging outside i think it's the same thing these people also charge here yes some of them were charging about five thousand euros six thousand euros in ghana here for the kitchen cabinet sets and i don't even know why kitchen is so expensive yes so if you want to patronize this local artisans you know some of them some of them you can you know put your trust in them others too they will end up just wasting a lot of time so that is why most people would like to just go to the showrooms and purchase their furniture what you see is what you bring home you understand as soon as you make your payments you just load your tin and bring it home there's no need to wait for months and you know a lot of fights with these people and chasing them up and down so this is furniture city it's on the spinters road you can just set them on google maps and it'll take you straight there go there check some few furniture for yourself and if you are interested in any of them you can just purchase it they have a lot of beautiful sets there all the outdoor furniture and the indoor ones the kitchen sets anything you need they have it there and trust me you will love it some of them are really expensive but you know the prices are very worth it and you can compare from the previous videos that i've made and you know compare all the prices because all these prices are still are still the same thing if you go there and i think they are doing a lot of promotions so some of them the prices you see there that is not what you check out with
this complete set you see here the price that comes with this thing is is serious you see yes but it's very nice some people will love this royal set sense and you know but trust me they are very expensive yes they are very very expensive this thing will cost you 580,000 Ghana cities 580,000 Ghana cities which is about the old currency that is about 5.8 billion yes so with this whole set that is the price that comes with it some of them is even about 600,000 Ghana cities yes so those of you that like the you know all this royal settings and inspirations you can go for this one they are very expensive for me personally i'm not a fan of you know all this kind of designs and all this this thing but i think some people really love it and they are very expensive if only you can afford them they are beautiful some of them the videos don't do justice to them so you can really see how it really looks like but that is it that is exactly what you go to the showroom so you can just check out the showroom and you know see all these things those of you outside too so in case you come to ghana anytime soon you can just check it out yes so that particular one is about eighty nine thousand for the whole set you see this one they don't sell it in pieces yes these designs they don't sell it in pieces so if you want to buy it you are buying the whole thing all together because of the way it is made it's not easy to sell them in pieces else if someone comes for the whole set the replacement will be a bit difficult for them so all these types are sold in sets starting from eighty nine thousand ghana cities upwards all the way to six hundred thousand ghana cities that is what you get for this type of designs yes so let me know anything you know you would want to ask and also share your ideas in the comment section yes they have a lot of things there that you would love and also you would like so i think i'll leave you guys here for you to continue the rest of the video and also if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to be part of the family this channel is all about building and the necessary thing you will need to know so most of us we do build in ghana but we don't stay in ghana yes so for instance most of the things that happens with your project you wouldn't know it being the prices of stuff materials equipment labor even the contractors that handles the project they will overprice things and charge you because you are not here you wouldn't know so due to that when we get a chance to come to ghana and continue the project that is the main purpose i've created this channel to be able to show the diasporas the you know the prices of stuff that you know we use in building anything the labor the workers and everything so if you check out the playlist that i've made there are various types of videos there you understand those that i went to purchase it being doors poly tank every single thing you see so that you also know the prices that that is that is going on in ghana if you know the prices or if you know how much things cost whenever you are sending money to someone if you already check the video you know the price of it and sometimes the video too that i post i make sure i post it within a very short time after recording so i'll make a video today and i don't mind posting it that very same day so that you get the actual price if the video too if i don't post it early i'll let you know in the video but some of the prices it might stand for maybe a month or two before they will change the prices so from the whole of last year to this year if you check the playlist you will see that there are various types of videos and prices according to the months and the years so that you will know that okay this particular year this price was at this this particular year this price is also at this so at the end of the day if someone is working on your project for you 
you know whatever you are discussing with a person it's very important because if, if you don't know these things they will end up overpricing stuff to you and it wouldn't help you it's not easy building outside and someone also trying to overprice stuff for you so try and check out the playlist and subscribe and share the videos to your loved ones and friends so that they will also know anything that is happening in ghana here you understand there are a lot of different videos that i've made on the channel that any of them that interest you you can just check it out and know whatever it entails yes if you want to use any of the artisans that i use also you just drop it in the comment section under that particular video and i will share their details with you if the person is not good i will never share the details with any of you you understand if any of them didn't go well for me i'm not going to share their details with any of you guys you understand because at the end of the day what didn't go well for me i wouldn't love it to happen to another person any of you on this channel are family to me you understand because the struggle you pass through to build in ghana where you are not in ghana is a whole different thing a whole headache you understand so subscribe if you are new to the channel turn your post notification on so that anytime a video drops you get the alerts and you know you try and watch everything to the end Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next update. Bye-bye.